Have you seen this? The Great Gatsby. Nick Carraway, played by Tobey Maguire, is lured into the lavish world of his neighbor, Jay Gatsby, played by Leonardo DiCaprio. Soon, though, Carraway sees through the cracks in Gatsby's world where obsession, madness, and tragedy await. The film also stars Carrie Mulligan as Daisy Buchanan. And it's that lavish world we're focusing on this morning, um, talking with Jenny Sykes Schwank of Jenny Elizabeth De Designs on how to throw a, a Gatsby inspired party. Book clubs, movie parties, go to see the movie, then come home to this. Hi, Jenny. Hi. Okay, so we're going to actually call this a Thrifty Thursday segment, too, because she did not spend a whole lot of money to create this. Was yes. it fun? It was so much fun. It's one of my favorite books. Has been for a long time, and everyone's sort of Gatsby crazed right now. So, yeah. Had a and you're really it. drawn into the, the scene of it all, aren't you? Oh, absolutely. The, the visuals absolutely. of this book. And when you read the book, the description of the parties, the description of Gatsby's home, there's just, it's design What galore. the women are wearing. Oh. <laughs> I know, I know. All right, so where do you want to start here? We could start with just the basic table. You know, I always like to dress the table, mm -hmm. and I dressed it with fabric that cost me $2.99. I can't believe it. And I, I love that. how you draped it, too. I, There's no sewing involved, no, right? No, because I don't sew. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I did sort of drape it. I wanted it to be gauzy and pink, just like sort of Daisy's description of her dresses and the drapes okay. in her home. Tied it with a feather boa, so you're sort of looking at dressing the table like a flapper would dress herself before going out for the okay. night. Okay, and these boas, you mean you can get at the dollar store you too, can get them right? At the dollar store, exactly. Okay. So then I went and I found some dishes. This is a combination of things from my own little home um, and things that I found at Goodwill. The white uh, dishes with the pink flowers. Oh, so pretty. Those are my great grandma Jenny's. What a great excuse to get your china out exactly, and use it. Exactly, exactly. And then the other ones have more of a, a masculine, heavier set. Yeah, they, with the green in the, there. The green. And if you look closely, if you take the time and sort of look at the details, there are tiny little daisies in the embellishment around the edges. And look at how much it was. 99 cents at Goodwill. <laughs> That's a bargain. That's a bargain. I, I just love it. Love it. Um, I even got the glasses there as well, except for the stemware, which these are mine. These are my vintage ones. Uh, champagne saucers predate the flute that we're so familiar okay. with. Okay. So this is from that era. These are exactly from that era when you sort of start to see a, a blending of Art Deco and Art Nouveau and all of those great design aspects from the book. I like the. I don't know. Well, this the is gilt of this. Yeah. And, okay. Exactly. And and gold gilded cages. Mm -hmm. You know everything that was described in the book. This is, again, from my from my home. We're just going to put a mirror on the table. Give it a little more glitz. It's going to reflect everything, um, and that's not going to cost you anything. Because you have it. Because you have it. Just put and take it off the wall. Put it on yeah. the table. Exactly. Talk about what you've done with this too. So this right here is again something from my home, but it has that gilt sort of mercury gold um, look to it. And then what I did is um, I just put a little bit of wet oasis in the top, okay. plucked a little uh, lily in there, and then something that you can do, because this is the jazz age, and it was the age of pearls and flowers and gold gilt. This is my favorite pearl necklace, and you can just drape this around the vase. You could do this, you could do a set of pearls with a, a flask and create an instant sort of table Oh, piece. yes! Go into your jewelry drawer, go into your house, and. Create your own little. Yeah, and er, you have feathers that I saw earlier. It's like a not bit of height. <laughs> it makes it kind of that wow factor too. Exactly, <laughs> it's like it's like the flapper that you have um, on your table. And again, it's, it's a, enough height that it's going to hide us on camera right now. But if you're sitting with your best girlfriends discussing your favorite. Gatsby moments. Um, I love it. I do too. Everybody's going to want to join your book club if they come to a party a like club. this. <laughs> yes, this would be great. But then you have to serve some awesome food if yes. you're going to have an awesome setting like yes. this for your book club. And Bridget Lowry is here from 416 Cuisine with some great Gatsby themed ideas too. So you, this is quite the setting. Thank you. Thanks, Jenny. You can follow Jenny on Jenny Elizabeth Designs on Facebook. We'll put a link on our website, fox11online.com. Click on Good Day Wisconsin.